Hey there. Oh, hey. <laughs> Welcome to the Banana Bungalow. This is our midterm rental that generates us $1,600 a month and pays for almost half our mortgage. Banana bungalow turned one, y'all. I'm so excited. And within that one year, can you guys believe it? We made $20,426. So we got to experiment with our attached casita by furnishing it and turning it into the banana bungalow. And within one year, we made over $9,000 net. So let me know what you guys think. Am I calculating the uh, income right? Because gross, we made $20,426. And then after all the expenses, we divided it by three to make it the income, the true cost of what it takes to run the bungalow. So with the electric, the gas, the sewer, internet, cleaning fees, insurance, taxes, and all that good stuff. So, or, or the mortgage as well. And we just divided by three because there's four of us living in the main home. And then usually on this side, it's one or two person or two, one or two people. So we spent around $60,000 on renovations for the banana bungalow. That's including adding a front door, re-landscaping the outside, adding a fence so it's privately gated and fenced for their little furry one. And then we also added plumbing for the kitchen and also added a little kitchenette. And we redid the bathroom and made it very bougie and high end. And also added all the furnishings. We did a mini split for the AC. We did Samsung bespoke appliances. We wanted to go with the bougie experience so we could charge a premium for the furnished rental. And this way you're also gaining or having higher end clientele or higher end guests because they're the ones that take great care of the place we've had the best guests and they always take really great care of the place they even clean up after themselves so uh, our cleaners always come in and they're like dang it's like so clean so I would highly recommend doing high-end furnished rentals because you're gonna be able to pay a premium have amazing guests and also it's gonna be super easy for turnovers so this is a 312 square foot little casita that we converted completely. We gutted it, added a front door, and so we had to figure out a layout that would work best for our guests. And so we opted for a queen bed. It was actually going to be a full bed uh, Murphy bed where it um, comes down from the wall. But um, that came all messed up. So we decided to just go with the queen bed, which worked out perfect because Scotty and I tested out a full size mattress and realize that's not good for two people. So we bumped it up to a queen. And um, so now, right now we have a guest that's coming in. She's checking in tomorrow. And we asked four questions. I always ask our guests. And these four questions are huge because it's gonna make them feel really comfortable when they arrive. The first question is, are you allergic to anything? Are you sensitive to scents? What time is your arrival? And do you need any special accommodations? These four are huge because you wanna make sure that they are comfortable because um, now I'm able to restock the items, the cleaning items to be fragrance free. So the person that's checking in was sensitive to scent. So I changed all the shampoo and conditioners to fragrance free. So even the, sh um, the soaps, the hand soaps and um, the dish soap as well is also fragrance free. I wanted to make sure like, what is she gonna do on her day is off? She says she just wants to chillax and relax and watch TV. So we actually have in our garage a small Lazy Boy recliner that we will put in and out depending on the guests, what they want. Um, so we pushed the bed to the edge of the wall and then added this. Usually the bed's in the middle and then we have two nightstands, but you just wanna make sure that you're asking these simple questions because your guest is the most important person. But yeah, you just wanna make sure that your guest is super comfortable. So when you ask these questions up front, you're able to provide those amenities like a lazy boy couch. We also have a smart TV, 32 inch. Because this space is so tiny, I wanted to put it on rollers because I want the guests to be able to move it wherever they want. We have our two burner stove top and um, we also have our bespoke Samsung uh, microwave. What I like too is that this space is completely functional because it has 
everything that you need. So you have all your condiments here, and then down below, you have all your pots and pans, you have an Instapot, everyone's gotta have an air fryer, and then you have your, your dishware, and then we added this gold mini, uh, what is this called? Sink. A sink. <laughs> <laughs> And then we also have this mini gold sink. Also, we have two types of coffee machines for preference and then a mini oven. Also, it's fully stocked with coffee, wow. condiments, and your silverware or goldware, if you want to say. And then also just the little knickknacks here and there. And then this drawer is really important because it has your binder of manuals and you're gonna wanna do this for every appliance that you have because you don't want people to come after you and be like, hey, it's like three in the morning and they're like, how do you use this uh, refrigerator? You know, be like, bro, Bruh. look at the manual. And then my baby is our fridge. <laughs> You want to go bougie sometimes. If you if you have the money, go bougie because you will get top dollar. Um, so we stock with alcohol, you know, water, fresh eggs from our farm. We do have chickens here, so that's another added experience to your midterm rental or short term. And what's cool about this fridge is that it has this water station here, so people could fill it up whenever they need to. And this middle console is really cool because you put deli meats in here. And then. Of course, we got a stock of the Chunky Monkey. It just goes with the banana theme. Gotta love that. <laughs> and this fridge also has two types of ice, which is bomb because this is the type of one that you could chew on and then the regular ice. You know, you gotta have those extra preferences because our guests, I want our guests to like enjoy themselves while they're here with crunching on ice, I guess. <laughs> and here we have a closet bunch of entrepreneur books and then we also have an ironing board, a steamer, iron, some towels and then robes and then chanclas, slippers, whatever you want to call them. Chanclas. Yeah. <laughs> and then some games up there and workout equipment. My favorite you guys, check it out. I am obsessed with this bathroom. It took our contractor three weeks just to cut and tile, lay the tile for this shower because <laughs> I wanted herringbone. It was him and Scotty. They're fighting with me because they wanted to just do subway tile. And I was like, nope, if you know me, I'm hella bougie. And I'm like, no, I have to go all in. What's really cool too, is that our contractor highly recommend this. If you're gonna do renovations for your shower and you're doing a stand-in shower, make sure that the um, faucet for the handles is on this side because usually it's on that side. And then you have to go in the shower you would have to go in the shower, turn it on, and then you'd get wet. But no, 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 my contractor is dope as fuck. And he was like, no, let's put the, the handles here so you could turn it on and not get wet. And then you could wait. And what's cool about our shower is that it turns from blue, green to red. So we have that option where they could change it to that, um, that shower head right there. So what's dope about this vent is that it changes colors and you could hook up your phone to the Bluetooth so you could blast your favorite music while you're taking a shower or listen to crime podcasts like I do. <laughs> I know. Okay, and then here. <laughs> I was just checking myself out in this mirror. So here we have um, a little dining table and um, a little keepsake for everyone that they could do. I kind of wanted to make it like the London Bridge where everyone like writes a lock or their name on the lock and then they put it on the wall. We have a washer and dryer, stacked washer and dryer. And uh, I'm telling you guys, I, I lucked out with a bomb ass contractor because he knows his shit. So he recessed this, gives more room in here so they could put their luggage or whatever. And then we have extra towels in here and bedding. Always gotta have a standing mirror so you can check yourself out before. Yeah. <laughs> and that's the banana bungalow. We hope you found it an appealing stay. <laughs> So I hope you liked this content. Hit that like, subscribe, and share button, and leave a comment. Tell me what you guys think of the banana bungalow.